Hi everyone. Today's video has three points and you're going to want to stick around because the third point is going to tell you something you must know about the replacement for the Mobi files. So today's video is Amazon ending support for Mobi files. Prepare for a huge change. By the end of this video, you're going to know what Amazon is exactly doing. You're going to have a plan as how best you can cope with the changes Amazon is rolling out. Yes, they're doing it again. And you're going to feel fantastic that you are in control of your books moving forward regardless of the format of these ebooks that Amazon is doing. So this is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. One of the things is after 100, running 120 million ads and impressions to people over the years through my Amazon ads, there's a number of patterns that I have discovered that work really well. And some of the things that I've learned I share in my absolutely free self-publishing checklist which you'll find below in the description. Grab a copy of that and I can show you exactly the steps necessary for your books to get them selling through the use of ads as well. So a while back, actually it was about a year ago, I was working with someone named Edward. He's from New, New Mexico and he was going through my formatting course as he was working on formatting his specific books and trying to get them into the correct format. And the thing is, as he was moving forward and going through it, he had no problem going through the course. There's always a few changes. A lot of the tools we use from, from year to year can change out. But one of the things he did was he, as following the course, he put his files into the Mobi format so that his ebook files would be ready to upload. It was, of course, using the Juto program, which I'm always recommending when it comes to formatting. You can find my affiliate link below in the description if you want to learn more about that. But as he was moving through the thing, I told him to put it into the, e to the Mobi format. But since that time, the rules have changed from Amazon and Edward came back to me and asked the question, what should I do now, now that Amazon is no longer in the future going to be accepting Mobi files? And that is something we're going to be discussing. So let's get into the three points, Amazon ending their support for Mobi files. So the first point, it is that they have been using Mobi forever. They came up with an idea which was let's use a unique format that nobody else uses and then our specific, the Kindle Play or Viewer, it would have the ability to pull those files in. Now the file formats that others were using would not work on the Kindle Player, which meant uh, reader. So when you were using that reader, you would have to convert and stuff in order to get it into this Mobi format so that you could read those files. This is something I really find helpful since I read all of my books using Kindle. I either listen to them or, or have them read to me, or the other option is I will actually read them on my phone. I don't, I used to use a Kindle device and you could send them to the device, but you first had to make sure all of the books you were going to read were in the Mobi format. But they have said, we're no longer using the format. That's no longer gonna be accepted for authors to send in. Now, on the positive side, they said that you don't have to go back and change all of your books and all of the work that you've done. But if you're gonna resubmit the format, you're gonna have to do it yourself. And this is one of the reasons I tell everyone you should learn how to do formatting yourself because we're always making changes to our books and we wanna be able to make these changes and put it into a format that Amazon is absolutely going to accept without having a lot of problems or having to pay somebody else to do all of the formatting for us. Fortunately, we're also in a transition period where they're still accepting the Mobi files that you're producing for your books, but going forward, they are going to cut that off and no more Mobi books. The MOBI files will no longer be accepted by Amazon and you're going to be forced, left out, trying to figure this out yourself. So that's the second thing. But the third point, and this is the secret point of the day, is that the new format they're going over to is EPUB, which is fantastic news because that is the same format used for all of the other sites, whether you're going to put your book onto Lulu, Ingram Spark, or draft to digital which I definitely recommend because it's going to give you maximum distribution across all of as many platforms as possible. We want your book in as many formats as possible and spread across the internet every bookstore you can imagine everywhere on earth so it is so easy for your ideal readers to find your book and find it in a format they wish to read. Okay? 
Now, what's the good news? Why is EPUB such a good deal? Well, the answer is previously we had to create two formats, which isn't a problem using the book formatting course when you're going through the steps. Super easy because you just click a different button. It puts it into a Mobi format. Click another button. It would put it into the EPUB format. Now, that wasn't such a, a problem, at least if you were using a good program like Juto. But if you're using something else, that makes a little bit more of a headache. But now you don't have to even do it twice. When we go into Juto, we just put it right on that EPUB format, hit the, hit the compile, and it puts out the EPUB uh, version of your book, which makes it easy then to upload it not only to Amazon, but to all of the other platforms because we're using a standard format, which is fantastic news. In addition, Amazon recently announced that you could even now send EPUB files to your Kindle device without having to convert them first into a Mobi format in order to read them. So this is also fantastic news for all of you who are interested in that. You, As always, you always just let me know below if there's ever a question on how to go about taking these files out, out of, a, out of an e, a book you might have from Kindle and then, of course, sending it to your specific devices. That is something that I find incredibly powerful. You can loan a book from the library and then just send it to your device. You can just pull the file out, put it into EPUB or Mobi, whichever works best for you. I now prefer EPUB since that's the format they're using going forward. And there's lots of changes that are made with Amazon and that's one of the big reasons you're going to want to learn more about blowing the lid off of Amazon's biggest secret right here. I'll see you over there.